Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Cujo Fools, and we are playing a little bit more in my Ark Survival Evolved Island server. So, I am in a single player, so I can use admin commands. I try as much as possible not to. However, I could not get around this any other way. So, as you can tell, I have my own tamed Chalicotherium. Uh, these are one of the new dinos that came out with the Caprosicosis and the Dilocalis. So, um, this one happened to just, like, spawn near my base. And so, I discovered that in order to tame them, you have to passively tame them, sneaking up behind them and giving them beer to drink. And it slowly tames them. However, I cannot make beer for the life of me. I have a... I have a beer barrel in my base, and I have waited at least a week, in the, literally a week in the game, and it still has not made any beer for me. So I am very impatient about this. I've already waited long enough to introduce this cool dino to my YouTube channel, so I got impatient and forced tame this one. So anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and ride it. Since I did force tame it, I can ride it bareback without a saddle. But I will go ahead and go through that part, and we'll check it all out. So the Chalicotherium saddle, I do believe, requires the smithy. And I know that kind of sucks, but it's meant for higher levels. But it it's, uh, what is that? Is that 30? Yeah, it looks like 30 ingram points to learn, and it can be crafted at the smithy. So I know how to make it, I just haven't done it yet. But anyway, these guys are super cool because they, since these guys have come out, they have entered, the ARC developers have introduced mount, uh, oh, I was trying to aim down the sights and it ended up, so, uh, with mount, uh, weaponry. So now you can ride around on your dinos. You can make them move and you can make them run and all sorts of stuff like that. Meanwhile, you can be on the back shooting or hitting stuff as you're running by. So the Chalicotherium can throw a lot of really big rocks. So that will be your LT button. And it can bite using the what is it? The right thumbstick? Yeah, the right thumbstick. It lunges forward and bite stuff. And, ooh, let me get rid of this. And then they can also paw at stuff. So, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, they are kind of slow if they're just at, like, a walk, but if you increase the movement speed, I'm sure that won't be a problem. They kind of lope when they run. And they're really cool dinos. So after you finish taming them, you can actually just feed them, uh, berries. And, yeah, see... Yeah, you can just feed them berries and that'll be their diet. So, look at them eat, or her eat. Super cute. But anyway, these guys are super cool and super helpful. They run around in groups of two or three out in the wild. So, if you do try and tame one, be careful and wary of the other ones around. Otherwise, they will all start attacking you. Um, and like I said, it is a passive tame. You just need to sneak up behind them and give them beer. Uh, that's what is used to tame them, um, or you could just be like me and use admin commands and force tame things, which, like I said, I try not to do it, but if I need to or I really want to get a specific dino, I will do it. So, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, they would be amazing at taking down uh, walls and stuff like that if you have a whole pack of them. Um, they're known to be really playful out in the wild when they are wild creatures, uh, throwing snowballs and stuff like that at one another to play. But you don't want to really mess with them. They will destroy you. I actually almost got killed by this one before I force tamed it. Uh, it took a lot of damage. Yeah, it gave me a lot of damage. Look at the melee damage. I haven't increased that at all yet. But, yeah, this one is really cool. I am super stoked that these guys are actually in the game. And it isn't just them that you can now use weapons on uh it's most land animals including like trikes and parasaurs and stuff like that flyers it hasn't been changed yet so if you do try be careful about what buttons you press if you accidentally press y you might just fall off your dino but anyway you guys that's gonna be it for the chalicotherium and if you guys have any questions about this dino i will be happy to add to answer anything that you have for him. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this stream, and I hope you guys all enjoyed. Bye!